the general term of a geometric progression. You will find this on page 213 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The general term of a geometric progression. If general we can write a geometrical sequence like this. A, A R, A R square, A R to the power of 3, where A is the first term and R is the factor between the terms called the common ratio. Note, R should not be 0. Why not? Because otherwise it will make the whole term 0. Okay, let's look at the next. The formula to find the general term of a geometric progression is Tn equals AR, and now there is the n minus 1, because the first term is not having a R. So if it's 1 minus 1, so anything to the power of 0 is 1, not 0, and 1 times A will just be A. Okay. Uh, we use n because R is not in the first term. That's what I explained. Now let's look at an example. Determine the sixth term of the sequence. Okay, there it is. Now the value of R, how do we get it from previous videos? T the, the in front, divide by the back. Front, divide by the back. So it's going to be T3, divide T2. T2, divide T1. But it's going to be a half. So what's the value of A2? What's the value of R of? What's the value of n? 6 and tn is what? So I write down the formula, I start doing my substitution, and now a half to the power of 5 is 1 over 32 times that, okay, times that 2, so it will be simplified 1 over 60. Again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do trinal 43 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. 1. So it's 5, 15, 45, 135, and it's moving on. Now, this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term. So if I start now, so if this is the sequence, then I'm going to say that the value of A is 5. The value of R is going to be T3 divided T2 must be equal to T2 divided T1, which will give me T3. 45 divided 15 must be equal to 15 divided 5 and that will be equal to 3. So the value of R is 3. Then the value of, of um, let's just see what are they asking. N, the value of N is 7. And I'm looking for T7. Okay. So start first with the formula. Tn equals A or N minus 1. Okay. And in, then it's T7. In the place of A, it's 5, in the place of R it's 3, and because it's 7, it's 7 minus 1, so it's 5, 3 to the power of 6. And now if I'm going to work, work this out, um, it will be 5 times 7 to 9, and that will give me 3, 6, 4, 5. That will be my final answer. Okay, let's move on. Find n in a geometric progression. Determine which term in the sequence is equal to 1, 6, 2. So in this case, I'm going to, to uh, okay, I'm finding n, and I know that tn is 1, 6, 2, and I want to find that value of n. So again, um, if I'm looking at, it's a GP, so R is also 3, A is 2, TN is 1, 6, 2, and N is what? So I just do my substitution, now just be careful, you are working with indices. So, in this case, you must first isolate that, so that's why you divide by 2 on both sides. And now, you can either do it with logs, 
or you can do it with indices. Now in this case, indices will work because I can make the basis the same. Then four equals this, I take it over and the value of n will be five, so the fifth term is equal to 162. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So if I look at this one, three, I'm coming back. Okay, let's continue. Three, six, 12, 3, oh, 7, 2. How many terms are there? So I'm looking for that term, the value of n. Now let's start first. Remember this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So if I want to find the value of a, will be 3. The value of r, and it must be equal to see if it's a GP, so t2 divide t1 must be equal to t3 divide t2. It's actually always, in this case they tell you it's a geometrical progression, but if they don't tell you anything, the best is to first test and then to continue. But in this case, it's going to be 6 over 3 is equal to 12 over 6, and the answer is going to be 2. And then the value of Tn is that 3072. And I want to find the value of n. So if I start, I'm going to say start with the formula Tn equals a or n minus 1. So in the place of Tn, the 3072, in the place of a, 3, it's good to put it in brackets, and then it's going to be 2, and I'm going to find that n minus 1. Okay, now isolate that. So first divide 3 and divide 3. So I'm going to get 1024 equals 2 to the power n minus 1. And again, what can I do? I can try to solve it first with um, um, indices. So if I take that 1 to 4, it's almost like you just take the 1 to 4 and you start dividing by 2, okay, and by 2. But the answer will be, in terms of prime factors, it will be 2 to the power of 10. Okay, but you can also use logs. And maybe I must use both to show you that you can use both. Okay, I think I'll first do finish this one. So 2 to the power of 10 equals 2 to the power n minus 1. So the bases are the same. So 10 equals n minus 1. So n equals 11. Or I can do it like this. I can just say, I take log on both sides. So it's going to be log 1024 equals n minus 1 log 2. And I divide by log 2 divide log 2. So n minus 1 and if I divide, I will just get, you press that on your calculator, you will just also get 10. And then I just take it over, so therefore, n is equal also to 11. And then um, I can end with the sentence, and I'm just going to say it. So the 11th term will be equal to 307. You can just end to have a, quest, um, a sentence like that. Okay, let's do the next one. 
So in this case, it's the same as the previous. I'm going to find, find A and R. So the fourth term is this, and the sixth term is this. Determine R if A, if R is bigger than zero. So form two equations with two unknowns and solve it simultaneously, just like we did in APs. Okay, the only difference, we do the substitution, okay, is that we don't add or subtract to cancel out. We are going to divide. Okay, so you divide and then you subtract the exponents or the indices. So 5 minus 3 is 2. And now you take the square root plus minus. But can you remember the value will be positive? So R is only the positive one. And then you find the value of R by just doing substitution, just like we always do. Okay, just again divide, divide. Just you can even use your calculator or you can multiply with the reciprocal. And then um, I'm, I'm getting the value of R and I'm getting the value of A. Okay. okay. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you just to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Uh, the second term, okay, so this is number one. Okay, the second term is equal to negative 12. And the fifth term is equal to 3, 2, 4. Okay, so the second term, so now I can just start writing. Remember the formula. I'm just going to write it here. Tn equals a r n minus 1. So, I'm going to say Tn, so it's going to be negative 12 equals A, and now R, and N is 2 minus 1. The same here, uh, 3, 2, 4 equals A, R, 5 minus 1. Negative 12 is equal to A, R. 3, 2, 4 is equal to A or 4. So this is 1, this is 2. So I divide. Now it's almost like you're going to say 2 divide 1. That's what I'm doing. So if I divide negative 12, and I divide by A or this is now I'm just going to keep to my color this is one so by doing that okay I'm going to get negative 27 I just want to get my green again negative 27 equals R to the power of 3 so R equals negative 27 3 so therefore, R is equal to negative 3. Okay. And then I'm going to continue. So, the, okay, this is the common difference. So the first term, I'm just going to keep, yeah, I'm just going to make a line there. Oh, I don't like it if the line is not straight. Okay. So the first term I will get, I can just use that equation. Okay, let's just start there. So negative 12 in the place I don't have A but I have R is negative 3. So I divide negative 3 and I divide negative 3 and the value of R is going to be of A is going to be 4. Okay. And then so that's actually number B so it's almost like this was number A this was number B, and then the eighth term, <laughs> so it's T8. It's again that formula, so A is 4, R is negative 3, and 8, it's 8 minus 1. That's 4, negative 3, and it's to the power of 7. 
Okay, first work out this, don't multiply. So negative 3 to the power of 7 is, and I'm just going to write it, I'll just move this down a little bit. So it's 4, negative 3, it's negative 2, 1, 8, 7. And if I multiply it by 4, it's negative 8, 7, 4, 8. And that will be my final answer.